And tonight's Eco 9 report new research out of Virginia Tech shows that sections of the Chesapeake Bay are sinking at rapid rates. Yeah, not what you want to hear. Meteorologist Caitlin McGrath joins us now with more on what researchers have found. Caitlin. Guys, this is really a one two punch. We have rising sea levels and sinking ground. This can allow floodwaters to go farther inland and poses a significant threat to coastal communities. So I spoke to one of the researchers about what they discovered and how communities can use it to help mitigate flood risk. Using radar imaging to measure elevation changes, Virginia Tech researchers have uncovered an important gap in planning for sea level rise in the Chesapeake Bay. In some areas, sea levels are rising at a faster rate than previously thought because the land is sinking. By comparing this uh, radar measurement over the long period of time, we can measure the movements of the ground uh, at a very high precision and accuracy. Manushar Shurzai and his team have found that sections of the Chesapeake Bay are sinking at rates of nearly a quarter inch per year. And with this technology, they can measure year to year changes in local ground elevation as small as a millimeter. They say there are two factors at play, nature and human action. Many hot spots are affected by groundwater pumping, others are lost by erosion. Scientists are focused on the Hampton Roads region as an area of sinking land at a relatively high rate. The region most at risk, the Naval Station Norfolk, home to the largest naval base in the world. Looking at different sea level rise scenarios and effects of sinking land, researchers found that for the Chesapeake Bay, by the year 2100, 282 to 373 square miles face a risk of flooding depending on the rate of greenhouse gas emissions. Hurricane storm surge, similar to that of 2003's Hurricane Isabel, could increase an inundated area much sooner, nearly 700 square miles by the year 2030, if high greenhouse gas emissions persist. With this new information, officials can update the flooding hazard maps of the bay that currently don't account for sinking land and underestimate the flood risk. Most of those um, resiliency plans underestimate the future risk and hazard associated with natural hazards such as flooding, um, storm surges, et cetera, et cetera. This will help authorities create more accurate and effective adaptation strategies. As far as how to adapt to sea level rise, coastal communities will have to look at options like upgrading dams, raising land, maintaining and restoring wetlands, improving flood resiliency. The list really does go on and it will vary from place to place depending on the severity of the flood risk. To learn more about tonight's Eco 9 report, head over to WUSA9.com or download our free mobile app.